Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to walk through the first setup of a Microsoft Surface. I've booted the Surface up, we'll turn it on here, and you can see the first steps are right here. It says your display language. I'll choose English and hit next. We'll wait here for a moment. We have to agree to the license terms. If you don't, you don't get to use it. And it says, let's go through a few basics. So it's going to personalize it and we can choose from any variety of color here. We can name the PC You can see, we can change it to whatever we want. We'll go with green since it's more Christmas time. And here, what we'll do is type a PC. We'll say Aaron's PC. So there you can see, it didn't like the other characters, wants it all one name. Now what it's going to do is ask for our wireless network. I'll connect automatically and I'll put in my password here. I've signed in to my wireless network. Here we'll use express settings. We could customize this if we want. I'm just going to use the express. Now we can sign into the PC. We can do this a couple different ways. We can use our email address. We can sign up for a new email, sign in without a Microsoft account. If you use your Microsoft account, what it will do is sync everything. So that means if you have a windows phone or Xbox, all of your information will automatically sync. So your Xbox live account will just be synced. I'll use mine. Once we put in the password, it asks for our security info. It's going to ask for an alternate email and usually your phone number and where you're located. This makes it more secure. So if it needs to check any passwords or verify your device, it can do that. And then it creates the account. You already have an account. And if you do, if you've done this before on a different device, it will just bring everything back how you had it set up before. So it's a really nice service that Microsoft offers with windows eight and the surface. It's going to finalize the settings and bring us to the start screen. You can see it says hi. What it does is after it's setting it up, it shows you how you use this. So the idea is you swipe from the edges that includes the top sides, bottom, and it makes you watch this. There is no way to skip this. The video doesn't really show you a whole lot. There's no music or anything like that. It just kind of gives you a general idea how to do things. Swipe in from the edge. And you can see here, it says we're getting your PC ready. This will take a few minutes. You can see it's installing apps. Now it continues to fade between the different color options. And unlike other tablets from Apple and Google with Android on them, this just seems to take a really long time to set up initially. But once it's set up after that, it's, it's pretty fast overall, but that's just the initial setup seems to take quite some time and is fairly involved. You can see it's finally starting up and here we have the start screen. Our start screen has all of these live tiles that will continually flip with our information. And it really doesn't set up anything other than your photos and mail, things like that, that are related to maybe your Microsoft account. It's a very blurry picture of myself and it's flipping between some things. It does include word and Excel PowerPoint and OneNote. So you have all of these things installed by default. And that's pretty much it. As far as startup goes, you can customize those things later on by swiping in from the side, going to settings, and we can customize everything, change PC settings, personalize. You can change all of this around however you'd like. And that's pretty much it as far as getting started. Now, the one other thing I wanted to show you, if you'd like to shut it down or restart it, you can do that swipe in from the side. This is your charms bar hit settings. Go to power and there's your sleep shutdown and restart options. Microsoft really wants you to keep this on most of the time, like just about any other tablet. And you can leave that alone for the most part, unless you need to restart. That's pretty much it. But if you have any questions, please place those in the comments below. I'll try and answer any of those that I can. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.